Welcome to the hardest crit in the world. This is the hardest crit in the world. I should say the hardest hardest weekly crit. There's not a crit in the world that has more pro tour riders go to it every week um, in the world. It's not. It's not. There just there, there isn't. And you don't have to agree with me, but you're still wrong. This isn't Adelaide, Australia. This is the Victoria Park race course. And here we are, A grade. This is from like last week. And we've got some pro tour riders in there. I won't mention any names. Um, you can spot them out if you've got a keen eye. But uh, this is A grade, just sort of rolling around here. Race has started, and uh, it's on. And watch this, watch this attack coming up. Watch this attack. Now it's it's a flat course, it can be sort of windy, so you can learn how to sit in a bunch. Um, and spin. A lot of crashes happen. Shit happens, but uh, it's definitely... The look, look, look at that. In the grass, mate. In the fucking grass. You... I mean, other places they say in the gutter. In Adelaide, we say put it in the fucking grass, bro. Put it in the grass. I mean, Adelaide is the highest level of racing in Australia, in a city. There's, there's not, nothing comes close. Nothing comes close. Adelaide produces more high-level cyclists than any city on the planet. You don't have to agree with me, but you're still going to be wrong. If you can win A grade in Melbourne, Sydney races, you could probably do okay in B grade Adelaide. You probably do okay in B grade Adelaide. You know, B grade, C grade Adelaide is A grade everywhere else. Um, and recently, the Tour of Bright, probably the hardest, you know, non-pro tour race in Australia. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's, I would say Tour of Bright is the hardest race in Australia. That's like you know, not do, not that doesn't have big teams going to it, like Tour Down Under, etc. And it was won by an Adelaide lad, uh, Chris Harper. You know, so hardest race in Victoria, and uh, that's non, you know, pro tour, pro tour, is Tour of Bright, and won by a fucking Adelaide boy. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, kick a Vic. Talk about kick a Vic, bro. Kick a Vic. Now, just because you're from Victoria doesn't mean you're a bad person. You know, sometimes we can't really choose where we're born, but... I would suggest come down to Adelaide and, and do some real racing and, and get, the, get the deal on. Now, I know you might do your crits at your Glenvale or your, wherever you do your crits are and your Sutherland Shire or whatever it's called. And that's good. I'm, I'm really happy that you enjoy racing. I'm just saying if you want to experience hard racing, like the hard, it's not, it's not so much hard racing, but if you want to experience the hardest racing in Australia, weekly racing, you know, um, then you have to come to Adelaide because it is the hardest weekly racing in Australia. Now people don't want to say the NRS, and stuff, but the NRS travels around everywhere. The NRS is not weekly racing. The NRS is a series, okay? So all these choppers out there say, oh, but Victoria's got harder racing than Adelaide. No, 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 it's, it's, the NRS doesn't count because NRS is in Adelaide. The NRS is in Queensland, it's New South Wales. The NRS is a series on its own. Adelaide has the hardest weekly races in Australia, okay? It just does. Now, just settle down and, and pay attention. Yeah, it, just, it just does. So maybe come down to Adelaide sometime during two down under and, and join up A grade and see, see if you can hang on. And maybe start the start line. Say, hey, like I saw it doing Rodders' video. Um, you guys are a bunch of soft cocks. I'm from Victoria. I'm from New South Wales. I'm from Brisbane. And I'm going to show you guys how fucking what real racing is. And I think they'll get the boys all razzed up. And it's, you know, it's all fun and fair racing here. Um, but it, it's the hardest racing in Australia. It's the hardest racing in Australia. The hardest weekly racing in Australia. Someone even said the other day, Shimano Supercrit. I mean, like, Shimano Supercrit is not a fucking weekly race. You know, like, what the fuck? I'm like, like, people are just so desperate to prove Adelaide wrong. You know, it's not, it's not even about me anymore. It's about Adelaide. Like, just fucking lay off Adelaide. Like, Adelaide produces the highest level cyclists in the world, man. Nothing comes close. Like, so someone said Shimano Supercrit is the hardest. Look, 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 I said weekly races, bro. And the Shimano Supercrit is just because some bitch Victorians made it happen over there. It's not because the talent's all there. The talent's all in Adelaide, man. I mean, the Institute kids even come to this race and get popped. The crit, you know what I mean? People take you at 1,500 watts. If you're not taking it at 1,500 watts, you're getting popped off the back. Look at this, you know what I mean? Punching it, mate, punching it. So, yeah, anyway. So this is, anyway, so let's give some crit tips. You want some crit tips? When an attack goes, you gotta go straight onto it, straight onto it, especially in A grade, all right? Because the guys are really, really, and girls are really strong. I mean, it's, uh, you gotta be really onto the, onto the wheel. Get it as soon as you can, get that draft, communicate, you know, have a goal for what you, where, what, are you just chasing a wheel or what? And then go for the corners, you can see this, that sort of gap open up there. Wow, that, that guy in front, he's put a big gap. That was really fast cornering. That was a pretty impressive corner. The guy in front here has got really good cadence, but the guy in front has slower cadence, but he, he launched for that corner, didn't he? Well, that was, what happened then? Why did that gap open up so much then? But, uh, so this is a breakaway. And this is actually the first lap the break happens so you just go get the wheel straight away think what are you doing are you covering for a teammate or what if your goal is you're not working for anyone then i would recommend not attacking this early in I mean, it's good training but i would recommend if you're gonna if your goal is to attack and win then you attack on the last lap and you attack and you look back and you do one attack 
if you can attack more than once, I would I would suggest that maybe you're not giving everything. You're sort of testing the waters. But if you do a fucking a launch and you time it right in that last lap when everyone's cooked, everyone will be safe, saving for the sprint, then that's probably the best time to attack last lap. And you give it everything, you don't look back, and it's your one attack for the whole race. So, but again, it depends on the goal. It depends on the goal for the race. You know, it's good doing lots of attacks, get the training effect, and because then you've got to hold the wheel again. It's just really, really hard because uh, you fall full of lactate, and the lactate oh, shuts down your your legs because the hydrogen ions. We've got another attack. It's called a counter attack. So the attack's been caught, brake's been caught, and now that's going to counter attack. And so there's you know up on the ante. So that guy who just went then is probably a little bit late. Oh, here we go. It's a little bit late, but it's all good. This is good training. This is really good training. Just done a, a breakaway, got caught, let him go, open up the gap, and then go again. That's really so. That split up there. You've got one, two, three, four, five riders in this breakaway, and so you, as soon as you get, especially at this speed, you're probably doing like fifty k an hour, maybe fifty five, and that's where aerodynamics really, really helps. You know, probably doing six hundred watts now, and you want to have that aerodynamic efficiency as soon as possible onto the wheel. Good turn of speed there, good turn of speed. Now, everyone's sort of chilling a little bit. The watts have dropped off. And we've got another attack on the right. So, I mean, Adelaide is just the hardest racing in Australia, man. It's the hardest weekly racing in Australia. You know, it's just, it's just, it's just hardcore, man. You know, I'd say Norwood Club produces more top-level cyclists than any club in the world. Yeah, Norwood Club, wow, that's pretty funny, isn't it? But Adelaide in general, definitely. There you go, you got questions there about Adelaide? Let me know down below. And uh, we'll see you on the road. Thanks for watching. And if you like these videos, give it a thumbs up. Leave some comments down below. What do you want to know? Um, what do you want to know? I mean, it is uh, it's the hardest racing in Australia. What more can I say? It's good to be able to spin. You want to be able to good through the corners. You want to know which riders to mark, which riders you're probably just going to pop. Um, but it's just, yeah, it's fast and you can see it's just break after break after break after break after break after break it's just in i mean victoria and new south wales they sit on a lot they do sit on a lot it's just a roll around roll around sprint at that a grade it's like attack 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 highest watts in any crit race in australia weekly crit shimano super crit doesn't count man that's guest stage appearances doesn't count sorry steel mines underground ready to blow you ain't seen the signs straight in your bloodline therapeutic music used in his unkind world to unwind so never forget and test the man cross your heart and kiss the hand every verse is murder an illustrated wild style of australia being spoken like an end to end burner when will toys learn that a fraudulent word will have them history x with their jaw on a curve sort of disturbed forced to serve all those who don't deserve to have a 33 and a third in their name I sing it's a shame like the spinners I don't hate the scene, I hate lame ass beginners